In my opinion, this mod is better than any MMO, than any fully funded professional MMO out there today. Dude, I agree. I, I, I totally agree. You ain't got to tell me, man. Yeah, man, I agree. I mean, a part of it for me is because it's built off Bannerlord. And because it's built off Bannerlord, and Bannerlord inherently is, like, already really enjoyable and is, like, a... You know a really popular franchise for you know being able to have really fun epic battles and shit you know it's the only game i feel that really does simulate like really bigger battles and really makes the individual unit actually feel like not just like some like stupid bot right like they actually you know they attack and they're blocking and there's you know all that kind of shit most mmos have clunky and awful combat oh yeah i know i'm with you the thing is is why i like uh Banner Lord's combat a lot is because the combat is specifically designed for huge battles and huge team fights. It's not it's not designed to be like Mordhau where it's focused on like maybe like 3v3s and shit. It's it's completely designed to support large scale combat and I like that. And it makes the duels kind of fun and interesting too cuz 1v1s 1v can be kind of fun. <laughs> Dude. Uh, we're fighting against uh, NPCs right now. All these guys, like looters. These are these are looters. And then, um, you know, actually, I wonder if I can actually get a big group of them here. And then there's four Spanish and Sea Raiders. Then there's some other AI down in the PvP zone. There, you can fight other players as well. I still think it'd be sick if players could make their own little hideouts. So, like, players cr could create a camp or a hideout, right? And you could use them offensively or defensively. And so, if you catch, if you catch a player who's, like, defensively using a hideout, it's generally used to say hide from other players. It's a place for them to kind of recover without being inside of a town. Um, and they, they would actually be like in the camp, like in the instance. But if you have a high enough skill, you could like ambush them, especially if you're at like war with them, for example. Uh, and you could actually get, you could ambush a player camp while they're actually in there, in there recovering with some of their troops. Uh, and then you could use one offensively where it's kind of the same concept where it hides, but in, when, when it would create like a little ring around your camp. And it basically acts like a spider web. And so when either mobs or players come within that radius, you could spring an ambush. And depending on how, uh, you know, whatever maybe stat is related to that would affect the chances of your ambush being successful and, you know, you, you getting a jump on your opponent and having like an advantage in the engagement. And maybe if like a player, for example, or even an AI has like a certain skill, they can maybe reflect that. And it's not like a, a better stage for the battle, but like it'd be an equal stage. So they'd still have to engage, but you know, that way you don't have to always focus about chasing people down. You could potentially find them in their hideouts as they're recovering and jump them while they're inside there. Or, you know, like I said, do the opposite, attack people using said hideouts. Acting basically, you're basically camping, right? On the campaign map, literally. And then as you see people go by, you can like engage and, and you know, attack like looters and shit. Not necessarily having to worry about chasing down crowds of like forest bandits or looters all the time. You can kind of like wait for them. See, I think it would be interesting, too, if uh, there was, like, a certain amount of AI, maybe four Spanets and Sea Raiders, for example, nearby while I was running a caravan. They could potentially, like, try and just attack you and ambush you. Because you are slower, right? So it makes sense that they're like, oh, hey, maybe we can catch this guy. That would make caravanning a lot more interesting. That way you couldn't necessarily just AFK on it all the time. When you say trading, so it's a stat. 
called trading. And so once we get this to 40, we'll be able to get another mule, which will give us more carry weight. And running caravans is how you, you know, pretty much level that skill. There's no other way to do it. What is the unofficial mean? Uh, this is a modification. It's like unofficial from like the main game banner lord that we're streaming under but it's very very professionally done it's uh, it has its own launcher and everything it has its own hosted servers all you got to do is have the game installed and get the launcher and then hop on and progress and play hey thanks panicked i appreciate that dude i, I love games and i love working with games and to be honest one day i do hope i can actually uh, eventually go from streaming full-time to just working on video games full-time and making them just want to make cool experiences for people you know and just be a part of them that's why i just kind of find them you know where i can I'm not really smart enough, nor do I feel like investing the time and learning how to actually program and make shit. <laughs> definitely, definitely like brainstorming though and helping with feature development. They must have got jabbed. Fuck. That's a bummer. That's the first time I've actually lost some some tier fives from uh, a dungeon. There are other players that would be, you know, on about. So right now, if you see one, you can't engage each other unless you're in the PvP zone. Whereas when the clan system comes out, if you're at war with another clan, you can engage each other and fight each other. So it's gonna it's gonna be pretty damn interesting, man. I'm just looking forward to like going around doing quests with a group of players and each of us controlling our specific type of troop. So that way when we're out and we're getting in battles with each other uh, and other players and, and we're getting in like instances and maybe farming mobs, for instance, we're able to get, we're, there's just gonna be a lot of coordination. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah, and they're upping the battle size too, up to 400. That's gonna make a big change in, in battles and make them a lot more tact tactical. Damn, bro, a couple of my dudes ate a couple of jabs right in the face. Ah, that's unfortunate. Do I like this more than New World? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I played this before New World actually released, but in a, a good like 50, 60 hours into it uh, and got like well into like the mid mid to late game features. Um, and yeah, in terms of an MMO experience, I, I've had more fun with this than I have New World, but it's a very different type of, you know, game and it's on a much smaller scale too. It's not like a huge, it's a mod for a game frankly and you know it's not uh, an MMO made by a huge studio with billions of dollars in capital yeah no I think it's great just because I also love Mountain Blade I'm a huge Mountain Blade fan and ever since I played Mountain Blade I've always wanted something like this mob variety would be wonderful somebody had a really cool idea and I, I think this is a really good idea I think the devs should definitely do this as soon as possible this doesn't seem that hard uh, but have deserters that are specific to cultures so Batanian, Sturgy, and Azrae, whatever. They just kind of spawn in those specific zones, right? And uh, deserters would drop faction-specific gear. So you'd basically put most of the Sturgian loot on the Sturgian deserters, and then, uh, you know, Batanian loot on Batanians, etc., etc. So depending on the type of items you'd want, you'd have to go after those specific deserters. And then you could have, uh, like, rare, like, boss spawns like deserter group boss spawns and they could have like bigger armies and stuff and you could beat them and they could kind of be a more of like a pve boss that people could hunt all around the map and you know like i said there'd be the different cultures you'd have to fight up against so it would make the uh, troop variety nice and interesting man Oh, 
fuck, please. Get those jabs, man. Those things are brutal. Always got to be on the lookout for those. own towns and castles no not yet those things are coming though we're gonna be able to own houses which will be secure from other players so kind of like our stash and hideout in eft we're gonna be getting one of those pretty soon uh that every clan will be able to utilize you can also invite people over to your clan hideout and just chill and rp and shit which is pretty cool um it's cool seeing some sturgeons up here actually playing around those sturgeon boys yeah we'll be able to own castles and towns and fiefs and territories and stuff I think a lot of that will come whenever they uh, start doing kingdoms, but it'll be a little bit later. Because like I said, they're starting with like houses, then castles, then kingdoms, right? You know, instead of like going straight into kingdoms and, you know, having a lot of complex stuff, simple stuff first. Because that makes sense for dev pacing and your gameplay loop. 